We move on to the Western Conference Finals as the Phoenix Suns defeat the Clippers in six games. Paul George was sensational, but Chris Paul and Devin Booker put the nail in the coffin to send the Suns to the finals for the first time since I was born. That was before I was born. I like 92. I never Charles, but I won't. <laughs> uh, Clippers in. We'll start with Paul George. Did he, did he redeem himself in your eyes, Cut Carter? It was all the jokes last year, PPPG, Pandemic P. This boy a clown, he's not serious. Did he redeem himself after his postseason run? I think he played better than before, but I, I think they need to just realize he's not a superstar. And that's okay. How can you say that after he, he, what he just did? He let this. He, had, he did have a bad game six, but he was leading his team without Kawhi. I don't think he's a superstar, though. I think – I mean, can, you, you could be the number two and be a superstar. Yes, that's true. Is he – I mean, I guess he's there. He's borderline superstar, I guess. So, superstar. He could all-star if you don't want to say superstar. Yeah, all, no, I'm saying – I'm not saying to take away from him. I just – when I think of a superstar, I low-key always think of the best player on the team or somebody that, you know, could carry a team, and I don't think he could carry him, as you can see. And... If Kawhi wasn't there and that was his team, would they be able to win? No. Whereas with the Lakers, I feel like you could say that about LeBron and AD and different, you know, depending on the circumstances. But the Suns proved that they, without your second superstar, you ain't, without your other super, without your other superstar, they can beat you. They're so, a player. Without your, without your next, without one of your top two best players, the Suns can beat you. But the Suns had their two best players, except for the, the Clippers. They didn't. All right. That too. They didn't have, but they didn't have Chris Paul the first two games. So, the Suns proved that they, well, if you don't have one of your top two players, we can beat you. And that's that's cool. And that's the same that goes for the Bucks. That's why I think the Suns going to beat them. Mm, but, um, jumping ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying, but <laughs> Paul George is a good player. Like, I never questioned his ability. I think sometimes he's questionable on defense. And I do want to say on offense, he gets away with a lot of push offs. There are a lot of, that like, more a lot of players that get, get away with push offs, though. But his is like blatant. <laughs> It's like blatant, but I mean he's still a bucket. Don't get me wrong, and he played the most minutes. And like he 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 hoop and coming back from I like I always forget about his injury and what he came back from too. So that's not you know you can't really take much away from him. Um, Clippers just <laughs> the Clippers just what it's just not. It, I don't I didn't like what they put together. I never liked what they put together. I never thought what they put together was championship contender. Do you think if Kawhi stay healthy, uh, the Clippers are in the finals right now? Yeah, strong possibility. <laughs> you funny. If LeBron, if, if AD and LeBron was healthy, I don't think the, the Suns would have made it this far. So, well, yeah, we got to get into that soon. We got to get into that soon. I think Paul George definitely redeemed himself. No, but I, he did. Like, he, now, the, the playoff P jokes kind of like pandemic P, all that kind of got disappeared. But I still don't think he played P. I think, <laughs> I think he's better when he's under the radar and not saying anything. I think he's better when. He's like the leader of the team, like the clear cut leader, like back in the Indiana days. Where that's he- true, and, and that's what I'm saying. When he was doing that, he was good, and I liked him in OKC too. I thought he was an MVP candidate in OKC. He was, just- and that, but it was Russell's team. It's like until right, Kawhi went down, he, his numbers go down when he's not the number one. And sometimes he is the number one with the Clippers, but sometimes he's not. That's what I, I said. It's, it's almost Kawhi- it's similar to almost a Jalen Brown and uh, Jason Tatum situation. It's that coexisting sometimes it ain't it ain't what you think it's gonna be. Mm, speaking of that situation, uh, Kawhi Leonard has a player option this summer, thirty-six he million. Him. He, he cut. You say you think he's opting out? Oh wow! I got to come on. Take me to your mind. Why you say that? Opt out and demand more money. Opt out and field offers, or opt in because you in LA. I don't know what. I don't know what's like vital to him. I don't know what's most important to him. All right, let's 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 picture it. He loved. He wanted to be in LA. Got the big new balance. A new balance deal. He loves LA. He's from LA by family. You think, do you think it's more likely that he stays in LA, a culture and team he's familiar with for these last two seasons, or go and start first somewhere else? I think he just, I really like again, are you are you committed to being on the West Coast? Or are you committed to winning? If he's committed to the West Coast, I ain't gonna lie. When Kawhi, Kawhi commits somewhere, apparently he wins. So if he committed to the West Coast, might be my guess, but I don't think he'll get a championship with the Clippers. However, if he, he takes offers from teams like the Heat or teams like that, you know what I'm saying, teams that – Dallas compare, was in the rumors, yep. If he goes to a team like that, I think he I think he got a better shot. I don't think he liked Texas, so I, I don't know about him like Dallas. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I think my the, the Heat, him in the Heat is just perfect in my eyes. I think you put him in the, in the East. I think yeah. that'll be great defensively, but I'm thinking where would the offense come outside of Kawhi? Him and Jimmy mid range. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, they say you got to be good at the mid-range to win. Him and Jimmy live in the mid-range. Okay. All right. All well, right. Even if he's like – but no, I know he can't go there. But, like, say he was on the books or something like that with a team like that, like with Giannis. So, him was with – he was with Middleton. If he was – like, he needs – Paul George could be that guy sometimes, but sometimes he needs to be 40, 50-point PG. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they could coexist and win the championship. That's just me. Oh, Wow. Uh, other expiring contracts for the Clippers. Uh, Serge Ibaka has a $9 million player option. He's going to opt in, but he should go. All right. Patrick Patterson contract is expiring. Bye. Nicholas Batum. Bye. Well, Nicholas Batum played good. DeMarcus Cousins. He played good, too, in the play- in, in that last series. I don't and, know, bro. And we got they one played, more. He's been with Zubak, but. Mm. I got one more. We got to shout out Reggie Jackson expiring contract. He about to get paid. <laughs> he about to get paid. Big pay, big bag. Dennis Schroeder said he won 100 million. I don't know if he's going to get it, but I can guarantee you Reggie Jackson might get it. Put Reggie, I don't know where he's going to go. Though. I know he don't want to go back to Detroit. I think the Knicks might want him. I think the Heat could use him. Imagine him, imagine him in New York and Bobby Smurder court side. They finally get a pitch with each other. I think. Bobby Schroeder's at the next games, not the next games. I don't know what the both, but Reggie, Jack- Reggie Jackson, like, I think Utah talking about bringing back Mike Conley. I think Utah need to look at Reggie Jackson. I think Utah need to look at – I mean, I think Utah need to look at Reggie Jackson. I think Dallas need to look at Reggie Jackson. I think – just like, if you need a point guard, call him. Pelicans let Lonzo walk. They need to look at Reggie Jackson. That's how good he played. He, uh, Reggie Jackson bought out of his mind. He was he he became a clear number two for the Clippers when Kawhi went hurt. Even when Kawhi was there, he was a he was he, uh, he had the numbers. He still yeah. was putting up the numbers. So shout out Reggie Jackson. Uh, ball. I uh, heard they say you were more than retirement before you came back for the play for the Clippers, and now you just played yourself into a huge payday. Shout out to you. Keep up the great work, and we appreciate it for what you did.